Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, we're going to be providing a final release update for the Invisible Friends NFT collection. I know many of you are extremely excited for the release of this NFT collection. It's by far one of the most hyped, if not the most hyped NFT collection we have ever seen released within the NFT space. We got some new information about the project and we are going to outline that in this entire video as well as provide some of my thoughts, my final opinions on what I think about the Invisible Friends NFT collection. So you're definitely not going to want to miss out because you want to make sure you know all of the information regarding this project before making a decision. But before we do get started, as always, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button if you end up finding value or enjoying today's video. Really quick, before we do get into it, I do want to give a disclaimer and mention that this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, so make sure to do your own research and make your own decisions. I am as well not sponsored or paid or associated with Invisible Friends to conduct and make this video. And with that being said, let's hop right into it. So to give some release details, we got some more confirmation on when this exactly will be releasing as well as the mint price for this NFT collection. Invisible Friends will be releasing on February 23rd and will go for a mint price of 0.25 Ethereum. There will be a total of 5,000 of these NFTs that we are taking a look at here. So as you can see, we finally got an official mint price as well as a release date for these NFTs right here. And in terms of the mint price, I want to say compared to a lot of other stuff we are seeing on the market right now, I think a lot of people seem to be happy with the 0.25 Ethereum mint price for these NFTs here. Considering this takes a lot more work than just your regular 2D static image of a profile picture, as well as just the overall quality of this NFT collection, I think a lot of people thought it was fair. And as you can see, the release date is coming here very soon. We only have a total of eight days left until the official release date for Invisible Friends. And now we're going to go on and highlight some of the key details behind this NFT collection. And then after that, I will provide all of the exclusive updates that were announced for Invisible Friends. So starting off with the artwork, we can see that these NFTs will consist of this walking style animation that we are taking a look at here. The character itself is of this invisible person and the attachments that are associated with that character is what creates life, I believe, to these NFTs. They also leaked what the one of ones, the rarest NFTs within this NFT collection will end up looking like. And we can see right here that these are some of the one of ones within the NFT collections. So I believe this one is like my favorite out of all of them. I think there is one more we can go and take a look at which is of this like uh we can see all the veins and, and the heart and the blood pumping within this invisible friends right he's brushing his teeth and those are all the one of ones i believe that were leaked as of right now now moving on in terms of the roadmap and utility behind this nft collection there is not much that has been provided to the public as of right now all we do know is that these invisible friends nfts will act as mint passes for the up and coming 3D Invisible Friends collection that we'll be releasing in summer of 2022. And we can see right here what some of these 3D collectibles are gonna end up looking like for Invisible Friends. And like I said, these will be releasing sometime during the summer and the Invisible Friends that we currently see right now that we'll be releasing here very shortly will act as mint passes for these NFTs here. Now, other than that, there hasn't been much outlined in terms of a roadmap or the utility behind these NFTs, but we actually can get a hint at what is to come for this NFT collection here as Marcus has outlined in a thread he posted on Twitter regarding just some questions about the Invisible Friends NFT collection. And one of those questions was, where's the utility and roadmap? And he goes on to say, we have a bunch of fun stuff that is lined up, a 3D NFT collection, toys, merchandise, collaborations. Just because we don't put it in some illustration doesn't mean we don't have plans. So as we can see right here, he is certainly thinking about the utility that these NFTs will end up having down the road post-release. And that is basically all we know in terms of what the roadmap is going to be and the utility behind these nfts and to briefly talk about the team and founders behind this nft collection the main person we're going to be focusing on here is going to be marcus magnuson or better known as motion marcus this is the main person as well as the founder slash creative behind invisible friends now i have stated many times in past videos before that motion marcus has been involved in art and animation for years now right even prior to releasing this nft collection he had a ton of people following him on instagram and created an audience there now he has a twitter account where over 71,000 people follow him here on Twitter, and he is becoming one of the most well-known artists and prominent artists within the NFT space. And now to briefly touch up on the community behind the Invisible Friends NFT collection, this is by far one of the largest communities I have ever seen within the NFT space. On Twitter, they have close to 466,000 followers, and then on Discord, they are completely maxed out with over 350,000 people inside of that server. So as you can see, there's just a tremendous amount of hype behind this NFT collection, and a lot of people are following up on it. 
and that was my brief review and recap behind the invisible friends nft collection if you want to get a full in-depth review regarding the artwork the community the roadmap and utility as well as the team and founders behind this nft collection here make sure to go check out an earlier video i made i believe a few weeks ago regarding the invisible friends nft collection now let's move on and talk about some of the more exclusive updates that have been happening for this project right here right and as we are getting closer to the release date there's a lot more announcements in terms of what will be happening with invisible friends how the release will be going as well as what direction the rcc the random character collective which invisible friends is a part of is going so if we go into the discord server we can see an official announcement made for invisible friends here right and we can read it right here continuing off our last announcement in the announcements channel some information regarding invisible friends number one non-holder early access allocation has been officially closed we appreciate everyone that has been active helpful and amazing in our community but there were only a few thousand spots to give to 450,000 plus people i hope everyone understands we have stuff planned for our new rcc og role for future projects so it seems that them giving out whitelist spots and early access spots to be able to mint invisible friends is now closed right to non-holders of previous nft collections like slim hoods and mood rollers and if you didn't know previously the way to get a guaranteed whitelist spot or early access mint for invisible friends here was to hold four slim hood nfts or four mood roller nfts and those were the two previous collections inside of the random character collective group right this group that invisible friends is a part of and we can read right here correlated to that that number two holder snapshot will be happening sometime within the next few hours and keep in mind this was posted yesterday so that snapshot has already happened reminder all future access for new artist rcc projects will be equally weighted towards rcc holders holders of the rcc artist projects will gain priority access to their future collections i.e slim hood holders to 3d slim hoods mood roller holders to mood flippers and invisible friends holders to 3d invisible friends and other marcus projects they also mentioned right here it is closer to 2300 holder wallets which will be allowed on the invisible friends minting list final numbers and data will be released closer to the end of the week or early next week and finally they go on to say on number three the final wallet list first and last seven characters of all non-holder and collaboration project wallets could be found in the link below so as you can see the snapshot for the individuals who held mood rollers or slim hoods has already been taken and we're going to go take a look at those two nft projects right now and see how they are performing after that snapshot has been taken so we can see right here after the snapshot these two nft collections have declined heavily in value and a lot of people are selling them off i believe both of these were at around maybe three ethereum at its incredibly high point possibly 3.5 ethereum for one of these nfts and now they have dumped closer to 0.9 ethereum just a few hours after this announcement was taken place so like i said if you were able to hold four of these nfts right of either the mood rollers or the slim hoods or a combination of both you would have had a guaranteed whitelist spot to mint one of the invisible friends nfts and since that snapshot has already taken place a lot of people are just selling off these assets but also keep in mind that the holders of slim hoods and mood rollers will also be in consideration for whitelist spots and early access minting for future rcc collections so that is just something to keep in note now moving on to one other final update that i wanted to briefly talk about here that was announced after i made my last video about invisible friends is that we can see an announcement right here that sotheby's has reached out and would like to form a long-term partnership with invisible friends and the community basically voted in favor of this and now there's a partnership between invisible friends and sotheby's which is a major major auction house so that is something cool to know and that kind of shows you how much hype behind this nft collection there truly is and with that out of the way let's get into some more updates that were recently announced around Surrounding the random character collective which invisible friends is a part of and if you may be confused a little bit here don't worry I'll explain it to you well invisible friends is a part of this group of other animators and artists within the space releasing nft collections and those two other collections that are involved are the ones that we covered here in today's video which are slim hoods and mood rollers so we have three collections in this entire group right here and they have recently announced the direction and future vision for this group moving forward we can read right here an announcement they made in the server that they're just basically thanking individuals we got some more updates on slim hoods right here because now they will be turning into 3d slim hoods right they will be releasing these 3d variations of these nfts that you can see 
right here. And further along, we have some updates regarding Mood Rollers. Mood Rollers are expanding into the Mood Verse, joined first by the Mood Flippers, a brand new PFP focus collection by Lucas. Mood Flippers will be animated and will also feature a generative soundtrack to match the mood of each flipper. And as you can see, this was some sort of a teaser that was provided here for this NFT collection as well. And moving on, we can see right here an update regarding Invisible Friends as well. I'm sure you've all seen the teasers behind the 3D Invisible Friends created by the insanely talented Nguyen Nu. And hopefully I did pronounce that right. So like I said, hopefully I did pronounce it right. And my apologies if I didn't. The full Invisible Friends 3D collection will be released this summer. Nguyen is setting the standard for what is expected from 3D NFT collections. And I'm sure this will just be the beginning of Nguyen's collaboration with RCC2. So that's pretty exciting because I have made a video regarding this artist and potential just overall NFT collections that he will be dropping in the future. And it seems that they are hinting that that might be a possibility coming for the RCC collective here soon. Moving along, we can see that they have also announced a merch superstore. We are planning on opening an RCC merch superstore where all of the holders of all projects will be able to buy hoodies, hats, and more for the collections that they hold. This will be open later this year after all current Invisible Friends merch orders have been fulfilled. Finally, we have future collections. More details for all of the above are still to come but priority for each expansion will be given to the holders of that collection, followed by the remaining RCC holders. The collective was started with the intention of continuously expanding our roster of artists, and that is still very much the plan. So we will reveal our next artist very soon. Our focus is on quality, not quantity. And we want all of our collections to push the boundaries of what is possible with generative animation. So that was the big update regarding the random character collective, which is the group all of these collections are in. And it'll be interesting Interesting to see how the current price fluctuates for slim hoods and mood rollers because it seems that there still will be some sort of utility regarding like early access mint and mint passes for these up and coming projects that we'll be releasing within that group. And one thing I wanted to point out really quickly is that there is another NFT collection that recently popped out of nowhere that is being developed by Motion Marcus. As you can see right here, there's this Twitter account called Garbage Friends and he recently just tweeted about this, right? And it seems to be a new up and coming NFT collection that Marcus will be creating sometime here in the future. We're not sure exactly what this will be just yet. All we do know is that Motion Marcus is associated with this and is creating these NFTs, but we do not know the set amount, how many NFTs will be made available as well as the release date. So this is just something to keep on your radar and something I will probably talk about further in an upcoming video in the future. And regarding Invisible Friends, those are all the updates that were available to talk about here today. As stated before, this is one of the most hyped, if not the most hyped NFT collection we have ever seen released. The amount of people talking about Invisible Friends is just absolutely insane. And I am personally really excited to see how the release for these NFTs does end up performing. Hopefully the mint isn't botched and it doesn't go through some massive errors through the minting process because we can see that a lot of issues have been happening with some hyped projects as of recently. But because of how much hype is revolving around this collection, as well as the professionalism I have seen behind the team, I have an idea that that might not happen, right? But who really knows? All we can do is hope that the team has prepared and processed all of the necessary tests for the mint happening on February 23rd. And to give some price predictions for Invisible Friends here, it's hard to really pinpoint what the exact price will be for an Invisible Friends NFT. Something to note and how we kind of calculated this before is by looking at the total price of all of the NFTs that you needed to hold in order to get a guaranteed access spot to mint invisible friends, right? And the high point for a Slim Hoods or a Mood Rollers was I believe, I wanna say three Ethereum at its highest, possibly 3.5, but if we do the math, four of those would equal up to be like 12 Ethereum. Now I don't think the floor price is gonna start off at 12 Ethereum, that would be just incredibly high and something that I have not seen personally within the NFT space before, right? To start off within a 12 Ethereum floor price, would be astonishing to see. Now, I'm not completely sure, but my estimate is we were probably gonna see somewhat of a seven to eight Ethereum, possibly six Ethereum floor price out the gate, right? It's gonna be incredibly high, no doubt about it, just because the hype behind this NFT collection. Now, as I've stated many times before, there is a lot of hype that happens pre-reveal, right? So there is a lot of speculation and a lot of people who are excited for potentially getting a rare invisible friends within this collection. And the likelihood of getting an extremely rare or a one of one NFT is incredibly low. And once
once the reveal does end up happening and people do realize that they didn't get a rare invisible friends there is going to be some sort of a sell-off that will be happening post reveal now i'm not sure where the price is going to settle at but i believe i would say a fair price for this nft collection considering the market conditions that we are in is possibly going to be five ethereum six ethereum after reveal and like i said this could be for a short amount of time and months later years later this price can drastically change and those are just some of my predictions out the gate i could be completely wrong so please do take that into account and those are all the updates as well as everything that i wanted to talk about this collection here in today's video and now it's time just to wait and see for the release of these nfts here so a lot of us are going to be watching february 23rd really closely as this is going to be one of the main collections releasing within the nft space that has garnered up so much attention Attention, right so i think a lot of people are going to be paying attention to this pretty closely now i want to hear some of your thoughts what do you think the starting floor price for this nft collection is going to end up being were you able to get a whitelist spot let me know down in the comment section below and if you want to get some live action tweets and how this mint is going to end up going and some of my thoughts regarding around invisible friends and future nft collections that are up and coming and that basically wraps it up for today so hopefully you did find some value or enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure to hit that subscribe and like button once again it is greatly appreciated and with that being said i will catch you all later